Hi everybody, Gerd's up here. Well, take a look at this. You'll see this is my wide field setup. However, you'll notice my beautiful ASI 2600 MC Pro is not there. And that is because I was trying to image the other night. I've been working on this project, uh, the Spaghetti Nebula for over a month now, but the weather's been horrible. And at any rate, when I started taking my test image, I looked across and there was some thing, phenomena on the sensor, and I had a feeling what it was. And I started taking my camera apart, and sure enough, it happened. I had the infamous uh, silicon grease leak, and it was directly across the sensor. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. But, uh, okay, well, this is what was coming off my screen when I was uh, imaging here. So you can see this peculiar artifact, which I didn't know exactly what it was at the time, but I, I had a feeling that's what it was, the oil leak. I was hoping it wasn't. Uh, this is a five minute sub exposure. And I decided to reorient it on a different object. And this is actually Aldebaran. Uh, this is a comet, by the way, and this is a 60 second exposure. So I reoriented it and it was still there, this thing. So that's when I knew, hmm, it's something with the train. And after I took everything apart, uh, this is the sensor on my ASI 2600. And you can see there's the leaking silicon grease. And here's another image of it. All right. Well, there you have it. Okay, well, that's what the oil leak looks like. I haven't seen it going directly across the screen before and some of the other people's issues, it was only on one corner. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, my camera's not here, so where is it? It's actually, I sent it off to Agena Astro. That's the company I purchased it from and they were very helpful, very responsive. I sent them an email that night and they got back to me within 24 hours and said, ZWO has authorized them, if this happens, just to do a, do a replacement. And so they sent me a return ticket. I just packaged it up and sent it off. When they get it, they will send me another one. And I thought that was really nice from ZWO and from Regina Astro. I, there was no hassle, no trying, trying to make me clean it, which I thought I was going to have to do myself. Um, and in the between time, I actually contacted uh, ZWO. I know they have a shop up here in New Jersey that you, they can do repairs or replacements in as well. And they got back to me too, also within 24 hours and said, yeah, we can just uh, take it as well if you wanna ship it to us. Uh, however, I already packaged it up and uh, agreed to send it to Agena. So I'm, I'm just going through Agena because they're gonna give me an outright replacement. And I, I'm happy with what the turnout of this, you know, I thought they were gonna have to have me, have me clean it. Uh, which I have no problem cleaning equipment, I just, have a problem cleaning brand new equipment or relatively new equipment uh, like that and that to me means a lot you know a lot of companies are out there they're willing to sell you anything at any time but then what do you do if you do have a problem and my judge of a good company is somebody that sticks by their their product and at least in this issue ZWO and the Gene Astro are standing by it so I just thought I'd make this quick little video to let you know where it is and what, what's happened. And um, that's about it. Oh, what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I was going to plan on switching out my camera, my this wide field setup anyways, because galaxy season is coming up and I was going to uh, set up my uh, Celestron Edge 8, which has the... ASI 294 Pro and here it is so you can see I've already I've already got my uh, big my bigger Celestron on there right now so I'm already set up for galaxy season anyways <laughs> yeah on that on that uh, setup I have the uh, ASI 294 MC Pro that that's a 
more appropriate sensor size for the uh, Celestron. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.